Today we're going to show you how to do a proper starter row, which this is not, as far as I can tell. I have stripped the shingles off that I'm going to be replacing. What the roofer who did the original roofing, the original shingling did, was just take a piece of, a strip of shingle and flip it 180 degrees, put it on upside down. But what that does, it makes the sealant strip up high and, and the, the flap, the tab from the shingle that you put on first is going to just be flapping up and down in the wind. Water might get under it. That's not, that's not the way I think to do it. I'm going to remove this one and then I'm going to put a proper starter strip on. Something else I wanted to show before I put the starter shingle strip on. The way they've done the old underlayment, the original underlayment, is underneath the flashing. I think this is incorrect. It should go over the flashing because if water gets under the, uh, the, the shingles and runs down the underlayment, it'll go right under the flashing and rot the wood. I believe that the uh, underlayment is supposed to go over the flashing. And I'm gonna, when I remove this and put the new underlayment over it, I'm going to put it over the flashing. Okay, now I'm gonna cut this shingle into what I consider a proper starter row. Let's put it down and I'll basically what you do is you cut off the, the tabs and this is the starter row, the dark, the black section. fairly even. So what, what we'll do is we'll put this up on the roof like this and that way the sealant strip will be right near the bottom. We'll hold the tabs from the shingle that I put over this nicely in place and they won't flap up in the wind and get broken off or let water in from driving rain. Okay what I've done is I've put the new underlayment on and I um, put the underlayment over the flashing so that if water gets under the shingles, it will run down the underlayment and off the edge instead of under the flashing. I think that can cause rotting because water might get on the, on the wood. I had that problem with an, uh, another section of my roof, which uh, is on the north side and doesn't get any direct sun. I, they did that over there too, put the underlayment under the flashing, and just about every piece of plywood had rot at the bottom, which I had to replace. Now what I've done after putting the underlayment down is I put the starter strip, I've banged nails along the top, and I've banged nails along the bottom to hold that down tight. And this sealant strip is now very low and so we'll keep the tabs, the, the flaps down, keep them from flapping up in the wind and if there's driving rain it won't go underneath. And I've banged nails to hold that down placed in such a way that the flaps of the shingles that I put over there will hide the nails so they won't appear in a groove. Okay, now we put a shingle on there. and we nail it in place and then we continue on with the shingling so that's how to do a starter row